but this time, it's the real deal. The history of science will be divided into the time before the image, and the time after the image, said Michael Kramer, director at the Max Planck Institute for Radio Astronomy. Carlos Modas, European Commissioner for Research, Science and Innovation called the feat a huge breakthrough for humanity. The supermassive black hole immortalized by a far-flung network of radio telescopes is 50 million light-years away at the center of a galaxy known as M87. Most speculation had centered on the other candidate targeted by the Event Horizon Telescope, Sagittarius A**, asterisk, a closer but smaller black hole at the center of our own galaxy, the Milky Way. It was also very much a team effort. Earth in a thimble, knitted together, they formed a virtual observatory some 12,000 kilometers across, roughly the diameter of Earth. The unprecedented image, so often imagined in science and science fiction, has been analyzed in six studies co-authored by 200 experts from 60-odd institutions and published Wednesday in Astrophysical Journal Letters. I never thought that I would see a real one in my lifetime, said Corners astrophysicist Jean-Pierre Luminet author in 1979 of the first digital simulation of a black hole. The more mass, the bigger the hole. At the same scale of compression, Earth would fit inside a thimble. For everything to work, we needed to have clear visibility at every telescope location worldwide, said IRAM scientist Pablo Torna, recalling collective tension, fatigue and, finally, relief. Hell of a Christmas present. Torna was at the controls of the Pico Valletta telescope in Spain's Sierra Madre Mountains. After that, is was eight months of nail-biting while scientists at MIT Haystack Observatory in Massachusetts and the Max Planck Institute for Radio Astronomy in Bonn crunched the data. The universe is filled with electromagnetic noise, and there was no guarantee M87's faint signals could be extracted from a mountain of data so voluminous it could not be delivered via the Internet. There was at least one glitch. We were desperately waiting for the data from the South Pole Telescope, which, due to extreme weather conditions during the Southern Hemisphere winter, didn't arrive until six months later, recalled Helger Rotman from the Max Planck Institute. It arrived, to be precise, on December 23, 2017. When, a few hours later, we saw that everything was there, it was one hell of a Christmas present. Rotman said. It would take another year, however, to piece together the data into an image. To be absolutely sure, we did the work four times with four different teams, said Gweth. Team scientists presenting the findings at a news conference in Brussels were visibly moved. We are looking at a region we have never looked at before, that we cannot really imagine being there, said Heino Falk, chair of the EHT Science Council. It feels like looking at the gates of hell, at the end of space and time, the event horizon, the point of no return.